What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we have essentially fled Texas. We are now in New Mexico and we've made it to this really cool place that I've been wanting to come to for a while now. It's called the White Sands Nature Dude. Thing. Dunes. dunes it is a national park and uh, as you can see there are white sand dunes literally everywhere so cool actually it's see. really cool uh, hence why i wanted to come here so apparently there's a trail that we can do it's like a mile long i can see people going up which is amazing so we're going to pretty much get right in there it looks like and then there's like a whole bunch of other stuff down there that we can drive to don't know what's down there but the, honestly this is good enough to start with i guess for new mexico for real so <laughs> let's head on in there and uh see what there is damn thank god for the lav mics right yeah for real. <laughs> it's gonna be windy just a bit what was that i said i feel like this would be really salty <laughs> <laughs> so i was just telling frank to lick the ground to see because he wants to know if this is just compact sand or stone <laughs> lick it no, i'm not licking it just do <laughs> it no, no. Yeah, this looks like a something. Yeah. I mean, we're supposed to go up that, I think? Yeah, it's a whole trail that looks like it goes right in there. Yeah, on the right or left, I don't know. Yeah. It's so nice out here. All of a sudden, the wind has been blocked. Yeah, where'd it go? <laughs> right? Well, I guess the side of the dune yeah. is probably stopping it from coming through. Okay, let's head on up. Yeah, this is really weird. It's just weird how it's like out that way. It's just all rock and random dirt and here. Hey, you're not supposed to collect the sand. What are you doing? You're going to get arrested, okay? Oh, there's the wind again. Literally the second we got over that. Wow, an information board. Oh, wow. This is... uh one of the most unique places <laughs> yeah, it's very that I've different. probably ever been to. It's very bright, especially with the sun just shining right off the sand. Yeah, the reflection's very high. Wow, this is so cool. Now, what's funny is that there's no like distinct trail. <laughs> no, follow the blue things, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but clearly a bunch of people yeah. have gone that way too. Wow, this is incredible. 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 Oh, well, look at that. It just goes right in. Too bad you didn't bring like a surfboard. You know, sand surf. I don't need a surfboard. <laughs> so I'm going to make some sand angels soon. Wow, look at all that information. Oh, that's some detail. So basically it's saying that all this sand was placed here 2,345 years ago by alien Martians. They brought it all by UFO. I'm impressed. I don't know. I mean, we're close to Roswell, so I yeah. to say it's not true, right? Wow. It's like as if we're in Saudi Arabia or something. Yeah. <laughs> we're just missing the camels at this point. We need a camel. So they do have bobcats. Where are they? It'd be nice to see them. Would it though? It would. Yeah, until they charge at us. Let them come. come Dare at me, bro. Yeah. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is cool. Wow. Oh. Huh. Lots of sand as far as the eye can see. I swear to God, you just took the words out of my brain. I have special abilities to pull information from people's brains. You just yanked it word for word out of yeah. my brain. Um, here, let me try and read the rest of your brain. Okay. okay. I'm hungry. Even though I just ate pee pee poo poo. Does yeah. that sound about right? The I'm hungry part might have been slightly right. Okay. Yeah. Are you actually hungry? Weird. We literally just ate. I, I don't know, know how it's that so would be weird. possible. It's so weird. I do have a slight hunger. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to do here. <laughs> Admire the sand. Oh, and the wind. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. It's uh, crazy windy. I mean, we're like kind of in a valley right now. It's probably tunneling through here. But yeah, I really want to know like how this 
happen? Did it say two miles, I think, on this trail? One mile. One mile? So the trail is one mile. It looks like it just keeps going down that way. Yeah. So one problem I'm having with the, uh, the desert since the moment we got here is my nose has been just non-stop bleeding. Yeah. Like, I've just been rough. blowing my nose. It's just, <laughs> just blood everywhere. <laughs> so hopefully it passes. Thankfully, I do not have that problem. Yeah. Please don't cut the trail. How you, what? <laughs> Meaning don't go oh, that don't way. Oh, don't go that way. <laughs> oh, so it like goes around this way. Oh, so wow, this is crazy. Don't cut the trail, <laughs> and You gotta go this way. I don't know which way to go, <laughs> left or right. It all looks the same. It all looks the same. I swear I have sand in my shoe already. How did this happen? <laughs> okay, we got another information board. Oh yeah, that's some detail. Yeah. So we got American Badgers. <laughs> that's the only thing legible. So apparently here it gets 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I was actually listening to uh, Joe Rogan's podcast yesterday as Frank was sleeping in the car. Um, the hottest place, guess what the hottest recorded temperature is? Where? In the world. In the world? Yeah, ever. I'm gonna say 150. No, that's just too hot. Is it just too hot? That's just too hot. Okay. No, it's less than that. It was actually 134 or something like that. Okay, so it wasn't too far off. In Death Valley, California. Apparently it gets so freaking hot there. That was back in like 1913 or something like that. Can you that? even breathe in that kind of temperature? Oh God, that would just be, that would just be killer. Like you would probably melt, like actually melt. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep walking around a little bit and uh, see what else we find. Just admire the cool sand dunes. Wow, so there's uh, more greenery out here. It's just so, like, random. Like, here it's just all pure white sand for the most part. A little bit of vegetation. And then you go over there, it's like a little oasis, I guess? Yeah, and then you get the hard ground. Yeah, this area is hard for some reason. I think it's just because the sand doesn't collect in certain spots or it just blows away. Most likely, but wow. More information? Yep. Let's see. What we got. Oh, wow, this one actually exists. <laughs> wow. Fight to the death. Fight to the death. Tarantula. Oh, it's tarantula versus a mosquito, which nobody likes anyway. So, some of my friends like to be left alone. The tarantula hawk lives and hunts alone. Her prey, the tarantula spider, is bigger, hairier, and more venomous than this wasp finds a tarantula away from its lair. That's crazy. So now that would be a cool fight to see. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Just a random fight between a tarantula and that, that wasp thing. thing. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find a tarantula out here. <laughs> So, we've made it further down to a less windier area. Um, wow, it literally just feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Whatever, as long as the weather's good. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. For some reason, Frank brought a sweater. And I'm like, I don't know what you think you're gonna need that for, but. <laughs> sure, I guess. All right. Now it's changing a little bit. We've got some shrubs. Watch out for... Let's see if we can find some tarantulas. We're bound to find one somewhere. I mean, we found one in the middle of like December or whatever. So it can't be that hard to find in April. It's hardly moved that thing. Yeah. The craziest thing I think so far is just how quiet it is. Aside from the wind, yeah. Yeah, like... that's literally all you hear. You don't even hear like the other people that are here because <laughs> the sound just doesn't resonate at all. Yeah. It's wild. All right, I guess we'll continue and uh, keep searching for a tarantula. It is around here somewhere. It's gotta be here. We're gonna we gotta nickname them. How many do you expect to find? I don't know. <laughs> you One, said them. Well, I said them because we don't know if it's male or female. We don't want to misgender the tarantula because that would just be rude, right? Okay. Okay. So, we're not too sure, but uh, I think we'll name it Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Sounds about right. <laughs> I hear something. What is that? It's squeaking. Where is it? it? Sounds like a little bird. Yeah. Bird or a little mouse or something. Where are you? Swoop! <laughs> 
Oh, so cute. Oh, maybe it was just them. Okay, carry on. Hello? Tarantula, are you in there? Anybody in there? Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> Could be a nice little hole there. Yeah, probably just for mice and stuff. Look at how like the sand like layered itself. That's wild. It's almost like limestone. Yeah. We made it back to the parking lot. Well, almost. Wait, when did you get naked? I just, Why are your pants on? You want them off? Yes. Right now. Onlyfans.com slash Francesco. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the car and see what else is in this place. Alright, so. So we're continuing on down the road and uh, this is cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> just the fact that there's a road that just goes all in between all of these dunes. Yeah. That's amazing. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff down there. I don't know. I remember reading Amphitheater and that's all I remember. So um, let's see what's down there. Might be something interesting. Gotta get gas soon. Um, got about a quarter tank, so we're good. Because I kind of forgot. I forgot what it was like in the desert. Once you get out in the middle of nowhere, it's really hard to find gas stations. Well, so. we should have enough anyway. Oh my god, tarantula! <laughs> no, don't kill it. Let's film it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to kill it. I'm trying to avoid it. Oh. Just kidding. No tarantula. No tarantula. Not yet. It's so, coming, though. I hope so. It's coming. We gotta find it's one. Coming. At least one. Just one. We found one last time. I want to see one again. And it was cold. Well, I want to see a scorpion. I still have yet to see a scorpion. Oh, so, yeah, that's true. We haven't yeah. seen one. Just don't let them sting you because they'll mess you up. Yeah, we got no anti venom either. Yeah. So that's going to suck. Okay, we'll see you guys when we get to wherever the hell we're going. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Boardwalk is slippery when frosty or wet. I don't think we'll have to worry about that. I don't know, but my shoes are slowly filling up with sand. Oh, <laughs> so it's interesting that they built a random boardwalk. <laughs> probably just make it easier for some people. Yeah, I mean, th there's probably a lot of people, like older people or disabled people, that definitely can't do the other trail. Yeah, that was hard enough just for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so at least they have this option, which is fantastic more cool views i don't know how far this one goes but it was pretty far yeah we didn't really get that far up the road but everything kind of looks the same just different Hills. slopes and elevations and haven't seen any wildlife apart from two birds so so we did the boardwalk and uh honestly kind of boring there's not much <laughs> it, to yeah it. it doesn't really go that far in i thought maybe it would be like a lot longer and then we got to the end we're like is this is that it that's it but it's cool like if obviously you need an easier path to walk on then. that's it's very uh, useful very useful and essential if it was longer i think it would be better um, but apparently this is all the result of the ocean well one what was once where the sea covered all of this land and then receded, came back in, receded, and it just created all of this. And this is what we were left over with. Apparently they wanted to build a mine at one point, but I'm like, screw that. We don't want a mine. What we want is a nice casino resort, just smack dab right in the middle. I just think it would be really cool and it would bring a lot of people in. <laughs> just an idea. Uh, I mean, they did it in Alberta with BAM. I mean, there's hotels and resorts and whatnot everywhere. It's still beautiful, it just brings in way too many people in my opinion, so pros and cons, I guess, pros and cons. All right guys, so uh, got a little windy over here, but made it to more of a larger area, just completely covered. Wow, <laughs> this is act actually pretty incredible. So Frank went to the uh, washroom or bathroom or whatever, um, so he'll be with us in like a minute, but wow, this is just super cool. I'm gonna actually go up this, uh, taller dune it looks like I, we could just pretty much walk wherever we want at this point <sighs> i can't wait to see the view up here what <laughs> wow it literally feels like you're in the the desert in like the middle east looking at this this is incredible the fact that this is just randomly here like this wowie it's like gorgeous <laughs> actually beautiful What do you think? It's not scenic. Right? Wow. It just goes on for, it, lo it just looks like it goes on forever. Like, 
right? <laughs> really cool. It takes some energy to come up. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I feel my uh, my shoes are, are quickly filling up with sand. I'm gonna have to dump those out afterwards because it's kind of annoying. It's gonna get a little gritty. Yeah. All right, well, we're heading back to the car. Uh, we're gonna head a little further in, and then I think it's pretty much done after that. So funny. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, continuing on with the vlog, we've actually made our way up into the mountains and it is a sight to behold. There's actually something really cool down there. Can't really see it too well from here, but it's the old Mexican trailway that actually used to bring people up into the mountains and uh, try to find the best spot to get the best view and maybe learn a little more about this thing. So it's the old Mexican Canyon trestle restored in 09 to 2010. Over 420 timbers were replaced and large sections of the trestle were rebuilt. It'd be cool to get down there though but I don't think we can do that. It looks like there's a viewpoint down there but I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Looks kind of dangerous. Okay well I found the way down. If you want to if you want to go down that way, <laughs> sure. If you're feeling uh, a little risque, no, don't actually do it. <laughs> I don't think insurance covers that. <laughs> oh man, but this is really cool. It's crazy how like we were all the way down there and it was just super dry, little tiny plants, and we come up here and there's all this, right? Ferns, and it's much colder. It's, like yeah, the temperature dropped down. by about 10 degrees Celsius, so. That's a, that's a thing. Okay, well that's a little more information. Cloud Climbing Railroad. In order to provide timber for the construction of his El Paso and Northeastern Railroad north of Alamogordo, Alamogordo, Charles B. Eddy in 1898 built a spur into the Sacramento Mountains. The line operated as far as Cloudcroft until 1947. The Cloudcroft trestle is all that remains. I also was not recording. <laughs> so I was just saying how scary this is um, but such an amazing view so apparently all these trees this is like a secondary growth there actually used to be tons more I was just reading the sign over there and it was saying that uh, basically when people moved in they needed resources so this is where they came to get them and uh, they basically took all the trees out of here there was a lot of lumber and whatnot what was that noise? Something sounded like something shifted. Okay. All I have to say is if you were afraid of heights, imagine being those dudes. <laughs> yeah, um... Like just going through the mountains. We got this, bro. Yeah. It's pretty like intense. Like it, it's actually crazy. Look, like one of these derailed. Oh yeah. Like imagine derailing off of this. So it's pretty amazing. So it looks like it kind of like looped all the way down there and then came up that way. Wow. I mean, for its time, that's some uh, pretty amazing engineering, that's for sure. Alright guys, well that is pretty much it for vlogging for today. Um, we are going to get started with some randonautica up here in the mountains. Uh, probably find somewhere to eat as well. Um, probably start randonautica, then maybe eat something, hopefully. I gotta check the times as to how, how late things are actually open. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in a few. <laughs> 